In a Microsoft RDS RDP environment, users out in the open internet can interact with remote Windows desktops using only a web browser like Chrome or Brave, no matter where they are. And they just come through the internet and they utilize what is referred to as the remote desktop web access. As flexible and powerful as this arena is, much like any other systems that are open to the internet, they are vulnerable. Bluekeep, DDoS, a bunch of other exploits are possible. Of course, if we make this whole arena dark through ZD and the attackers can't see it, then things become much more secure. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we get this all done with OpenZD browser. This is the familiar browser topo diagram that I've used many times down here in the dark zone is uh, where the Microsoft RDS deployment will be. Uh, this icon here refers to a remote desktop and everything in a Microsoft RDP world uh, listens on HTTPS. So in this demo, we will be using the new nested TLS functionality that has recently come out from browser. I'm running a local build here. This JSON stands of this configuration and the bootstrapper is referring to a service that I have spun up in my local ZD network that I call Microsoft RDP. And as you can see, uh, we're telling the ZD browser runtime that that particular service is listening in HTTPS and therefore it will engage the nested TLS. So to start with, let's do an RDP login outside of Z, outside of browser, so you can see what the flow looks like when, when uh, ZD is not in the picture. I'm hitting an RDP server out in Azure that Darius has stood up for me. So shout out to Darius. Couldn't have done this without him. What we're going to do right now is enter the credentials. Get logged in. Say yes, I want to access uh, the remote desktop. And here we are inside of a Windows box that's out on the other side of the RDP server. And we can do things uh, on this. Remote box, I'm just typing here. Uh, shut this app down. Um, start up a web browser. Much like you're, you're sitting on your own box uh, through the web browser here, I'm using Brave, uh, we're going through the RDP protocol to an RDS server, and on the other side of that, we're interacting with the Windows box. Get signed out. And we've come full circle. So let's start that process again, but this time we're going to be going through browser. The familiar IDP login. You can see over on the, the left side some of the chatter that's coming from the RD web client in here in the browser. So it's coexisting with our ZD browser runtime. If I was to switch to watching the network traffic and open up, clear this real quick. So what we're watching over here is this purple line. This is the WebSocket that comes out of the browser. It's managed by the ZBR, the ZD Browser Runtime. And any activity that happens uh, on the remote desktop as seen from that browser is captured by the ZBR and pushed over to you through that WebSocket. So, for example, if I click here. Now you can see that anytime I move the mouse here in the browser, ZBR is capturing it and pushing it across that WebSocket to the remote RDP, RDS server. We can do everything here now that you saw me do uh, natively. So I can type things like go 
can see that all keystrokes are being managed. We can start up the web browser just like we did before. Hit our blog. And it all works. So next steps for me are to do a little bit more testing and then uh, push the code and, and do a, a new browser release. That build is not out yet, but probably will be today. Today's uh, the 14th of November. So you can watch for that announcement out in the browser channel. And speaking of which, if you have any questions on anything you've just seen, uh, go ahead and send the questions to me in the, in the, uh, the browser channel out on Mattermost. We'll see you on the next video.